I don't know about you, but living on a Zoom call or FaceTime call with a horrible webcam is not a fun experience. I want to look good when I'm talking to call co-workers and colleagues. Well, Apple finally decided to do something about it with the latest update to macOS and macOS Ventura, and now you can use your iPhone as a webcam, and it looks really cool, and it's absolutely easy to use, and it's just amazing. I'm Jason Cipriani, and in this ZDNet how-to video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up and use your iPhone as a webcam using a new feature called Continuity Camera. This is cool. This is a really cool feature, and the first time you use it, you may even accidentally trigger it. You're going to have a whoa moment, I, I promise you, or at least I did a few times. But So what you need to do, there's, there's really no setup you need to take in order to get this to work, but I will show you one thing that you do need to do uh, in order to ensure that your iPhone and your Mac can communicate with each other. Obviously, you need to be on the same Wi-Fi network for both devices. You need to be signed into the same iCloud account, and Apple does require that you have two-factor authentication enabled in order to use continuity camera, which is an extra security feature that you should already have enabled. You have it enabled, right? Enable it now. All right, so with all that out of the way, double check this on your iPhone. Go into, uh, go into the settings app, go to general, airplane handoff, and then there's an option here for a continuity camera. Make sure that's turned on. That's it, all right? So this is where the magic and the fun happens. In order to use this, literally all you have to do is either start, open up Photo Booth if you want to test it, which is a map that's built, app that's built into your Mac, or the next time you start a FaceTime call or Zoom, it automatically works. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to switch to Photo Booth. And right now, you can see that my webcam here is active. Right, so that's what's actively being, if I was on a call, that's what I would see. So I am going to hold my phone near my Mac and I'm gonna scroll down and, or go to the menu option camera and then select iPhone 14 Pro Max and magically, magically, now, my iPhone is my camera. And so you can see there's quite a big difference in quality here, but that's not all you can do with this, right? So that looks good. And if this was in Zoom or WebEx, here, let's go to Zoom. All right, so Zoom preferences. I'm not gonna start a Zoom call right now because nobody wants to be recorded on Zoom, truly. You can see the camera is already set to my 14 Pro Max. <clears throat> But you don't want to hold your phone like this the entire time or prop it up or you know do something weird with it so you can stay in the shot so belkin and apple partnered and they created this little doohickey this little gadget uh, that is i think it's 25 or 30 dollars it uses magsafe it goes on the back of an iphone 12 iphone 13 or iphone 14 anything that is magsafe compatible and has a little ledge here and so what it does is you could actually prop it up right above your horrible webcam that is uh, built into your Mac. And now you have what is a very, very technically advanced looking webcam on top of your webcam. All right, so as you can see, it's streaming from one of those cameras there, but you can change how it looks. And to do that, what you need to do is pull up Control Center in the menu bar, and then there's this video effects option here. So go ahead and click on that, and here are all of the options you have available to you that make the camera look even better. So I'm gonna turn them all off, and you can see what it looks like. And actually, I kind of prefer the way this looks. I think it looks pretty good uh, with everything off. But So there's Center Stage. Center Stage is that cool, fun feature that keeps you in frame. As you move around, if people were to join me in this call, they would it would zoom out. Uh, if they leave, they, it zooms in. It's a pretty fun feature. Portrait mode adds a little blur effect. So I'm gonna turn off center stage. Hopefully that helps. So it's like you're taking a portrait photo. Photo. You can see everything around me is a little blurry now. Toggle it. See, pretty cool. Studio light. 
you have horrible lighting in your office where you're constantly on your video calls, studio light is pretty cool. Um, I can see the use for it. At times it looks very, very fake though. Uh, so, you know, I, don't be that person on a call with totally fake. Eh, never mind. Be that person. Who cares? All right, so you can adjust quite a bit here. But there's another option I want to talk about real quick, and that is called Desk View. Now, when Apple demonstrated this and it originally announced Mac OS Ventura, Desk View looked really cool. I'm not really sold on it anymore. What it does is it uses the ultra wide angle camera on your iPhone, if it has one, to create a view, a top down view of your desk that you uh, can then broadca broadcast on your call in case you are, let's say, uh, doing a hands-on demonstration of something. So here's a pair of AirPods, right? I need to show them off on the call. This is cool, this is fun, but wouldn't it be nicer if I could just point, you know, have my hands on my desk? So what you need to do is you adjust the size of where your desk is. Let's see if I can get it just right. Uh, yeah, okay, that looks kind of good. And then I'm gonna start desk view. So if I was on a Zoom call right now, they would see both of these feeds. Um, and then I could sit here and then show off the AirPods. But it looks really warped and it just doesn't look all that great. Uh, yeah, there's some work to be done here on desk view, Apple. But hopefully, you know, next year, maybe. All right, so what happens when you're using your iPhone as a webcam and you get a phone call on your iPhone. Like that, it doesn't vibrate. That's good news. It doesn't vibrate and fall off the mount or whatever. In fact, it's a very subtle notification that you receive if you get a, get a phone call. So right now I am using, in a hypothetical Zoom call, I'm using the iPhone as a webcam and I'm gonna call it from another number I have. And you'll see here very gently in the top right corner, there's an incoming call uh, alert. So if I click on that, nothing happens. But I can then answer the call and it pauses the video camera or the uh, webcam continuity camera feature. And then once I hang up and put this back, and actually once I hang up, it automatically switches back to the phone as a webcam. So it's pretty seamless. So as you can see, continuity camera works really well. It's really easy to use. The first time you accidentally trigger it, I promise you, you're gonna have a whoa moment. I, I definitely have, and I know a few of my friends have as well. You don't have to plug in your phone to your Mac, but it's a good idea to connect it to a charger if you're gonna be on a call for a long time or using it as a webcam uh, for a lot during the day, just because you don't wanna end up with a dead iPhone later in the day. All right, for more tech tips just like this one, make sure to check out ZDNet.com where we have all the latest news and reviews as well.